These are the best highlights from the matchup between G2 and FlyQuest during the quarterfinals of the 2024 Esports World Cup. Mm -hmm. This is another opportunity for him to just pump out the deeps. I mean, Cassio Beer is basically an AD carry that does magic damage, let's be honest. Yep. You just press a different button in order to do it. It's okay. Brucey already taking a lot of damage. Yike coming in, and that is going to be first blood already at three minutes into the game. Yike going to collect it. And G2. And here on this top side of the map, Brucio going to be able to grab a stun, gets the flash out from Yike as well. Definitely not wanting to stick around. It looks like Inspired should be able to grab these grubs. There's the second one as well. Whippo coming down, utilizing that lane control that he's picked up. And that's all three. Can they find a team what? fight as well? Those rocket jump in. Quad is going crazy. And Caps trying to get himself out of oh. there. Impale very back home. And yes, G2 have picked up oh. first blood, but here could be another opportunity for FlyQuest as Caps trying to get himself out of there. The Q going to miss that from Inspired. And oh, oh. the burn is going to come in and Brand is on the board. Mystic Shot or anything like that right now. Looks like it's just going to be a Dragon consideration as Whippo doing a fair bit of work up here. We Last time we checked in, the Gragas was doing a great job as G2 looking to even the score when it comes to these grubs in response through the first dragon of the game. And FlyQuest actually with a fair bit of control as far as picking up these neutrals and staying in it. In series yesterday. I, yeah, that is fair. But this is definitely one right now where G2 Esports are gonna be the ones starting off the Herald. And it doesn't look like there's gonna be any response whatsoever from FlyQuest. This was the perfect opportunity for them to dirty the waters, get a couple of those kills, get a couple of those opportunities for team fight, but none of that's going to be coming through. And the big thing you always gotta ask is when one team gets an objective, what is the other team doing with the True. And it's going to be spawning now. Uh, we have the Rift Herald spawning in the river, just back where she belongs. It's actually really cute. And she's going to run from home and try to take down this outer turret. That should be a thing, but FlyQuest are going to be able to trade it for this dragon. And the extra gold for G2, I think they're going to be very, very happy with, right? Being able to build up a bit of temp. They don't know how many FlyQuest members are actually here. Yeah, there is a sneaky little Mario, and there he comes. Quad diving on out. Caps taking a lot of damage, Ooh. and there is the Tristana set. Quad going to be able to lock down that kill there as well. 1-0-1 one, one for the Tristana. And unfortunately, lost his mid laner a little bit too fast. Masu in this mid lane, trying to deal with G2, looking to make a cross map. And it might still be possible. The slow not actually going to land on a Mickey X, though, oh. as he finds the Glacial Fisher. And FlyQuest kind of thought they had an opportunity, but Inspired goes down before he can really do anything at all. And now G2 are trying Impale? to dive on him. The Impale is decent, but the Body Slam is better. And now the Teleport's coming in once again. Quad finally in the battle as Whippo diving for Trollers Rush. Cuts them all down, and they don't even need the brand to do the AoE because Quad and Masu are going bananas here in the mid lane. Cap's finally respawning, though, and can he do enough? to try and get this one back as Yike is there to support. FlyQuest to take another opportunity for a fight. Well, Whippo, he's going to be driving towards Caps here. Does get the uh, oh, Valkyrie out as there's the Solar yep. Flare. Stuns up the Corky. There's not a lot of damage, but I it's guess enough. there is enough as Whippo. Trisha Barrage doesn't quite find the mark, though, as Quad They're just, just winning. shooting against Broken Blade. Yeah, over and over again. They're just not quite able to answer as Quad. He's going to say, yeah, you're going to push me away. I'll jump forward. Is now just looking for Broken Blade here. As now Whippo getting pushed away from the Banana Brush, but they still do have that ward in there. In fact, everyone with vision available. Quad moving on up, and with all of these extra brushes, it is... A dangerous time here for G2. They're trying to set themselves up, though. They've got their brushes down. As Mickey X oh. moving forward, the Impale is going to pull him out. That is going to be the Dragon picked up by G2, but can they keep themselves alive as the Redemption comes through? But it's a little too late, and they lose their support. Mickey's on the floor. And FlyQuest, yes, they lose the Dragon. They don't get to that sole point, but still... Uh, and that is looking dangerous. And that is that two-item spike that we were talking about. One thing that we need to mention is the fact that FlyQuest really had an advantage. Oh, oh never mind. Masu tries oh. to get out, and he's not going to be able to. The shutdown comes through. Inspired has to flash, and the outer turret is going to be taken. And in an instant, G2 just say, no, we have the control. Never you mind. We got surprised about that just the same way that Masu fights getting those three kills when Broken Blade shuts him down. They find a bunch of kills. They find some more going oh, over on top. Speaking of which, finds the double body slam. Quad able 
able to get himself out of there, but the uh -oh. door is in position, and the flank angle from Caps is crazy. Still decent position for Quad, but they find him. Body slam comes through once again, and the shutdown comes in from the mid laner from G2. Whippo's out of there. There's the double kill for Caps, and all of a sudden, everything's on fire. And the flag now. Masu is still coming around to see if he can try and poke people off, but he's got to deal with so much. There's a mid lane turret that they could potentially get, but G2 taking the fights that we saw earlier, turning them on their head. Now they're going to be getting the Baron. Now they're going to be taking control of the map, and this might be that Harlem Grove trotting that we were looking at. Yeah, this is a huge swing for G2. They are going to be able to take this one down. The Baron will be off the back end of this one. Empowered Recall is going to be helping out, and at least they do manage to get this out of oh, Tarot. Oh, okay, Whippo is uh, taking matters into his own hands, but I don't know whether it's a great idea. Knocked up by the Glacial Fissure and then uh, knocked down. Already routed. Spire just had to turn around now. They're looking for Broken Blade. Yeah, that's a party cask there as uh, Broken Blade should be going down here. Quite able to lock that one up and had the explosive charge there. Done. Whippo in the top side, and this Baron buff is being used to take down one turret with all four members that are here. The Gragas moving towards the mid lane to try and stop Quad. But if FlyQuest are able to get more, then it should be okay. But if they lose an inhibitor, it's probably not. Interesting. So we're going to be trading for the Dragon. And, um, and FlyQuest, your base is now exposed. Yeah. So one inhibitor, not end of the world, I guess. But if they lose a Nexus turret, it's, uh, it's really, really bad. Here comes the teleports coming through from FlyQuest. They will get the Ocean Soul point, but they're not going to be finding a fight here at all. They do end up defending their Nexus turrets, but feels like a very brinksmanship kind of way of playing. It's a little bit dark out there, as we can see. Mickey X slightly separated and Whippo on a beautiful flank angle. Solar Flare can immediately be cleansed, but that is now on cooldown. All oh, the impale goes absolutely nowhere, uh -oh. and the door is fantastic. Whippo having to flash away as Caps back into the fight one more time. True Shot Barrage doing deadly damage, actually, as Flag two inhibitors no. in trade for a neutral. Josh, I just don't think that, that is not. the right play. This is definitely the spot where we see FlyQuest. They are trying to get every single one. They do end up getting the red buff, but they're going to be giving a mid lane turret for it. Well, Quad is now back, so maybe FlyQuest are happy to fight as Inspired. Looking to try and set up. Great Cask is going to connect, but Inspired flashes away. True Shot Barrage finds Hans Armour on that back line. Oh, but he's very safe. Masu, though, he gets on in there. Hans Armour is in so much trouble, but he survived. Oh, there it is. It's Quippo that locks it down. And FlyQuest looking for Yike now getting chased down by the lawnmower, and we'll have to flash to get on over. He escapes, but could this be FlyQuest now setting up for a Baron themselves, or do they have to go back and protect their base, or are they going to try and win the game? There are a lot of different They're options the here. They're doing trying to everything. They're looking for Caps on the top side right now. Caps going to be blowing up. He's going to be away from the oh, base. He finds only so Yike. much time, but Quad is at least able to take down the inhibitor in the mid lane, and that is a staggering of the backs there as well, with Caps going down so late for a second there. And then it was an Ivan and a Braum, so we weren't going to see a death or anything like that as the Baron will be taken down. The Ocean Drake is up and available. Now, FlyQuest don't necessarily, I think the Baron, very important. And also, having the minions not destroy your Nexus is also somewhat important uh, if they do want to win this game. Yeah, a little bit surprised though. I feel as though they could have gotten both of those things with Caps still dead. True Shot Barrage not going to be getting the Miracle Steal, but this team, that's when they make their move. They come and they get the damage down, and then they're able to chase Yike and Caps. We got another team fight, another Impale going wide there as the Glacial Fissure somehow avoided. That was narrow, Whippo right there. Arrow. Blade getting chunked. Remember, this is not a tanky Greg. It's got a cosmic in. drive. As yeah, Quad is just playing the PvE game here on the bottom side of the map. Inner turret will be taken down. And G2, I think they're going to have to start protecting their base. There's the teleport to come on through. As thankfully, does have that Bloodthirst and now completed. So I can get a bit of that health bar back. But you can see pushing pressure. them out. And Mickey X finds the Glacial Fissure, puts up the door as the Impale comes in. Solar Flare is fantastic. And That's Mickey is just cut down. And now FlyQuest are flashing on with the explosion as Quad is going to be taken down on the back end. But they'll trade that for Caps. And Masu is still up. Hansama is surrounded, finds the net. 
it was decent, but they didn't kill the Ezreal. A triple kill for the young man from FlyQuest. And they might just walk in this game, and he is doing it magnificently. Seven, one, and five coming out for the young rookie. And FlyQuest are going to be getting the first game over G2. This is not the way I think anybody was expecting today to go. We already got two games from Top Esports, and FlyQuest now in pole position to try and knock EU out of the tournament. And someone's got to check the time zones or something like that because Orcs yesterday said that it was no longer going to be the 4th of July, but I'm sensing the freedom as FlyQuest is... These were some of the best highlights from the 2024 Esports World Cup quarterfinals matchup between G2 and FlyQuest. Which moment was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. This is OP, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.